Guys, Matt from 123MyT here. Welcome to the channel. Just a quick video today on how to fix your MacBook's touch bar if it's playing up or becomes unresponsive. I will show you five things you can do to fix it. Let's get started. The first step is the most basic and it's a restart of your Mac. So just go to Apple menu, restart, take the tick out of reopen windows when logging back in and then click restart. It sounds easy, but a restart can sort out most problems. The next step is to open up terminal and reset the touch bar server and control strip. To do this, go to finder and then search for terminal and in terminal type the following command, sudo pkill touch bar server. Now I think you need to have it in the same upper and lower cases as I have typed here. And also I'll put the command in the description so you can just copy it. Once you've done that, just go ahead and put in your password. So this is the administrator password for your computer. Cool, so go ahead, do a restart and see if your touch bar is now working. The next one to try is the activity monitor. Do a search for this in Finder again and bring it up. In the search bar up the top of the activity monitor, start to type in touch bar server and then click on the Click on the touch bar server that appears below and then click on the stop button and then click on quit. Then go back into the search bar again and then this time do a search for control strip and then just do the same thing. So click on control strip, click on the stop button and then click on quit. Once this is all done, do a restart of your Mac to see if the touch bar is working again. Next, we will check the keyboard settings are all okay. So go ahead and open up your system preferences and click on keyboard, and then make sure that the menu that says touch bar shows has the app controls selected and a tick in the show control strip checkbox. If none of those have worked, then the last thing you want to do is to make sure you update your Mac OS. Go into the Apple menu and then about this Mac and then click on software update. You can see my version is 12.4 and the latest update is 12.5. So go ahead and apply the update and then restart your Mac. If it's still not working after that, then maybe try calling Apple as it may be a hardware issue. Guys, if I helped you here today, don't forget to check out my other videos such as the MacBook Pro M2 review. And do me a favor, if you know anyone who might like this video, please share it with them, hit the subscribe button and smash the bell icon.